sorry, I want to fill in here. So I only have a quick minute, but I just wanted to offer a little bit of encouragement today. I just wanted to say, if you're calling out to God today, he's listening. He is hearing your prayers. I know that 2020 and 2021 have been like tough so far. People have been dealing with a lot of different things, loss of jobs, loss of loved ones, sickness, fear, um, financial distress. So I know everybody's going through some things right now and they're not really sure which way to turn. But if you haven't turned to God yet, I say call out to him today. You know, I have seen him personally working in my own life, but I've also seen him working in those around me. And he is answering prayers. And, you know, it may not be the way we expect or in the timing that we expect, but I've watched him come forth. And I really feel like he is positioning people right now. He's calling us to a higher level. He is, he is wanting us to rise up higher. I see that. I see that all around us. And he's getting rid of anything that would distract us from him. And that could be anything. That could be jobs. That could be, you know, idols, whether it be financial idols. You know, he, he's moving things. He's shifting things. He's placing people where he wants them to be. And, and I don't think anyone's going to get a free pass here. I think everybody's going to be called to rise higher. I think that God's putting his thumb on things in every single one of our lives. I've seen it firsthand. I'm sure you have too. You know, it's just like, it's, it's actually a common theme going on right now. I own a coffee shop, so I deal with hundreds of people every single day. And it's just like, there's, it may not be the exact same thing that he's putting his thumb on, but everybody is being stretched. Everybody is being pulled. Everybody is being squeezed. And I think that he's trying to squeeze the best, the best out of us. He's trying to say, okay, we're going to get rid of this so that we can bring forth this. And I'm going to get rid of this so that you can bring forth this. So, I mean, even though to us it may feel painful, it may feel scary, it may feel, especially the unknown, God actually births beautiful things out of those situations. So, so you lose your job. He probably has a, a job that's a thousand times better for you, maybe one that you've always wanted. You know, I had a lady come through the coffee shop the other day. She said, you know, I've been wanting to quit my job for the longest time, but I never knew how I was going to do it. And then I lost my job. She's like, now I'm able to take care of my family, my loved ones. I've had time with my grandchildren children. So, I mean, he will take something that may at first seem like, oh, how am I going to do it? And then he'll birth something absolutely completely beautiful out of it. But I do think that, like I said, none of us are going to get a free pass right now. He's calling us to our highest. And, and I really think he's calling us to follow him and have faith in him. And he's trying to see like, okay, who's going to listen? Who's going to obey? How are you going to react in these situations? You know, again, rising higher. And so I know he's been putting a lot of things on my heart. I know I've seen it firsthand, even with an employee that I have. Um, she has been challenged. She cried out to me the other day. She was feeling very, very, very hopeless. You know, her husband lost his job at the beginning of COVID. They haven't had anything. They had to move. You know, they've been in a really tough situation. And I just said, even if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you know, and so I kind of gave this little, like, you know, pep talk lecture. Well, you know, she left and she's like, I hope you're right because I need some hope. Well, that evening, she ended up getting a call from a job, and it was another state, but they called her and said, we want to set up an interview with you, and it was a company called Hope West. <laughs> uh, God was listening to that conversation. Her last word was, I need some hope. So, but he will speak to you if you're just listening, and I'm telling you, like I said, it might not be right away. I've been praying on something, and I haven't really heard back on this particular thing, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to be like that annoying lady in the Bible who kept pressuring and pressuring and pressuring that judge to answer her request until he finally did because he got so sick of hearing from her. Like right now, that's me. I'm going to be that lady. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to stop praying until you answer. I'm not going to stop. So, you know, I'm just waiting on a miracle and I know a lot of you are too, but do not give up because that just means your breakthrough's right around the corner and he never leaves you and he never forsakes you. And he says, I hear your prayers. I see your tears. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to come help you. I'm going to strengthen you. So that's a promise from him. And he doesn't break his promises because he's holy. He's not like us. So just hang in there, call out to him and just say, I'm going to wait on you. I'm going to trust in you. So the, you know, the Bible tells us to be still and wait patiently on the Lord. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. The patient part, I don't really have down, but I'm going to try. And God, and God speaks to us in all different types of ways, guys. So it's not a one size fits all like, oh, well, Mary said that she felt in her heart. God told her, but I haven't felt that. No, he speaks to everyone individually. He loves us as individuals. You have a personal relationship with the Lord when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So, you know, sometimes he may speak to your heart like you'll have a knowing like, oh, I know God told me to do this. Like, you know that you know that you know. And then say that maybe even you really felt like that was the case and you get outside of that and you're like, ah, that wasn't the case. I thought I heard him say that. 
God's never going to condemn you for that because he knew your heart. He knew your intentions. You just take one step backwards and then you just get back onto the other path until you feel like you've heard from him again. That's part of learning and part of growing. You can't be afraid to ever try new things because you're afraid of failure or maybe that maybe it won't be God because God will know exactly how to get you back onto the right path. So when you hear him speak to your heart, take that step of faith and maybe just take a step forward. And if it's confirmed, then take another step forward. Nobody's saying you have to go jump off a cliff or you have to go just all in, you know, and quit your job tomorrow. But if you're feeling like maybe God wants you to maybe do something different, well, take a little baby step. Maybe do that um, resume. Maybe go to that interview. Maybe baby steps. And then God will continue to let things flow as you take those steps of obedience. Also, he'll speak to you in the, the inner depths of your soul at night. You know, he all, always speaks to me in the middle of the night. So if you're ever up laying there, like eyes wide open, can't sleep, cares of the world are just running through your mind, that's probably a time that he's trying to speak to you. So if you can calm your mind and say, God, what are you trying to tell me? He'll speak to you right then and there. Sometimes he'll even maybe be a little voice. You'll feel like you hear a voice like, oh, okay, God. And again, I think it's just him speaking to your heart. However, he'll speak to you in the shower. He'll speak to you in the bed in the middle of the night. Of course, when you're sick, he likes to speak to us when we're sick. Yeah, he does some of his best work in hospital beds and prison cells. I hear I have not been in prison. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> However, I have been in hospital beds, and I can confirm he does speak to you. So if you're just listening, he'll speak to you. Just call out to him to say hi. And then you'll just ask him questions. And then little by little, maybe he'll reveal the answers to those. But at least he knows that you're talking to him. He'll also speak to you through his word. If you're dealing with something in a certain thing, like, you know, with trust or faith or abuse, whatever it may be, get into the word of God, find scriptures in that particular area, and then let him speak to your heart and speak to your spirit. He will speak to you always through the word. And that's the truth. That's really the only truth. The world will tell you this, and the doctor will tell you this, and then this family member will tell you this. But you have to... You have to compare the two with the word of God because the word is the truth and that has to be your lifeline and everything else is pretty much fickle compared to that. And if what someone else is saying doesn't add up with that, well, then we're going to go with the word instead. So that's just part of growing in Christ and getting to know the Lord and getting to know the word. And that does take time. So, but anyways, the word will always speak to you. And then also he'll meet you wherever you're at. Like he'll, he'll song, certain songs will speak, speak to your spirit. So it's just like, he'll play a song. You'll know that that was made just for you, you know, right in that timing. It'll be the perfect timing. Or you'll just come across like a, a scripture in a book or like a phrase and you'll be like, ah, oh, you were speaking to me. And a lot of times he uses family members. He will use friends and he will use trusted counsel to speak to you. So just be on the look, just be aware, just like, just be in the moment, be in today, don't be in tomorrow, and then just unwrap it like I was reading a book, but it's so true, but just unwrap it like a gift, like this is our journey on the way to heaven, right, this is, today is just a part of that journey on our way to heaven, now whatever turns you take will either draw you closer or draw you closer away, honestly, and so just take today as a gift, he's present in it, he's present in everything, he's speaking to you, you know, even just by looking outside at his beauty right now with the snow outside and the sunshine and the birds and everything, that that's him speaking to you. I'm here. I'm still on the throne. I'm, I, I still see you. You have another day. You have breath. I've healed your body again. You had that yummy cup of coffee. Your animals are safe. You know, your loved ones are safely in school now. So you just focus on the positive guys. That's all we have right now. Pray, call out to him. And I promise you, he'll never, ever leave you nor forsake you. So God bless. I hope you have the best day ever. Take care. Bye.